Hello, I'm Malika Martin and I'm here today at Standing with Giant. I'm going to be walking around the space and talking to some of the lovely volunteers here today. Let's go! Hello, could you tell me your name and what you've been doing with Standing with Giants today? Sure, uh, my name is uh, Vic Morrell. Um, we've been coming here for the best part of nearly three weeks now. We've done various uh, jobs at the moment. The job I'm doing is putting these strengthening bars uh, onto these what we call silages. Um, so it can uh, sustain the weight once we start putting the, um, uh, the silhouettes on board. Lovely. And um, why is it important to be helping with standing with giants? Um, well, I'm a veteran myself um, and I've had many friends uh, that have been killed. Um, so trying to um, honour them as well as the guys uh, from the Second World War uh, that paid the ultimate price. Uh, on the beaches etc and then later on during the war um, and if it wasn't for them we wouldn't be here thank you very much hello can you tell me your name and what you've been doing with standing with giants my name's kerry hastings um i've been coming here for about three and a half weeks now pretty much every day every weekday um, helping to get these silages up and running ready to load the giant into them ready for the uh, transportation across to Normandy on the 5th of April. <laughs> Lovely and what is the importance of working with Standing with Giants for you? Well I'm a former veteran myself um, and this is to commemorate all those that have fallen um, in the Second World War particularly in Normandy. Um, I'll make a special mention um, these represent people on D-Day on the beaches um, but I also would like to mention the airborne elements that went in just before the seaborne landing because mm -hmm. I myself am a member of the Parachute Regiment and we like to commemorate everybody. Hello, could you tell me your name and what you're doing at Standing with Giants today? I can. I'm Lisa Martin and I've come down with my family to help out. I recently brought a choir down here and two hours just wasn't enough to do all I wanted to do so we've come down again and we're spending all day here and getting involved in lots of different bits and I'm currently drilling these to make six mil holes never used one of these before but after a few I'm a dab hand at it so having great fun <laughs> and what is the importance for you coming down to standing with giants um it just just kind of gets you inside i can't i can't describe what it is I, I don't have any history and family of losing anybody in the war but i just think it's so important that we keep remembering the people who gave their lives for us so that we have our freedom today and it i can't say anything else other than it just gets me here and that's that's why i'm here today what's your name and what do you do with standing with giants Hi, my name is Jeanette Barton. I'm the project coordinator for Standing with Giants. So basically I deal with all the emails that come through. I do the um, social media posts. I do um, volunteer organization of people coming to help us. Um, and basically I'm just the point of contact for everybody that needs to contact Standing with Giants. Lovely, and what have you been up to today? Okay, so today <laughs> I've been talking to the customs um, agents who are dealing with the, um, the silhouettes that we're taking over to Normandy. So for the four lorries, I've been speaking to the lorry company who are driving the vehicles over for us. Um, I've been looking at various emails that have been coming through today. I've been on the phone. I've spoken to the press agency today who are coming to visit us tomorrow when we've got the D-Day Darling Juniors coming to visit. Um, and what else have I done? Oh, and I've been talking to volunteers and, and sorting volunteers out this morning that have come to help us. Lovely. And why did you help start Standing with Giants? Like, why is it so significant and particularly for you? Um, basically, I'm married to Dan, who is our founder of Standing with Giants and the chair of trustees. So it was Dan's idea to put the 101 soldier silhouettes up on the hill. Um, above the M40 back in 2019 and it was basically just the public reaction that we had 
to what we'd done and literally people were telling us how much this was needed for them um, and so it was the public reaction really um, okay I've got a cat walking across the desk right now <laughs> and um, so yeah it was the public reaction and also um, we just felt a huge commitment that we needed to give back to obviously the, the, the men and the women that have sacrificed so much before us and given us the freedom that we have today. What is your name and what have you been doing today at Stunning the Giants? Hi, my name is Roy Martin and today uh, we've been working together and we've been drawing the outlines of the figures and I'm just cutting them all out and um, then they'll get rubbed down and then painted and then they'll get uh, attached to the metal frames and then we have a figure which will go out to Normandy um, in the beginning of April, hopefully. And what does being a Standing with Giant here today mean for you? It's part of me because I'm X Forces, so I'm an XREF and a Falklands vet. So I took part in the Falklands. So to be here and to see the original Falklands memorial they did oh, two years ago it actually touched my heart, and it it was something about it that that. I wanted to find out more so I've been in touch with these guys and keeping in touch with them for years and I think the D-Day Normandy tribute is really really important and uh, okay it's 80 years but I think it's important that we all remember that there are a lot of people who gave their lives so we can have freedom today and I don't think it ought to be forgotten and I think in today's society it's very easy to throw things away but I think what these guys are doing here in Standing with Giants is really really important. <laughs> What do you enjoy most about your project here at Standing With Giants? I think what I really enjoy um, is getting other people involved. Um, there's so many artists, it's all about one person and everyone's following one person and that's just not my way. I've never taken a penny uh, for any of the artwork and any of the charity um, work I've done for the last uh, last 30 odd years. Um, but I really enjoy meeting people and I really enjoy getting people involved. And, and, and that's uh, and I've just met some wonderful people through this project. Uh, what I least enjoy is those people that say they're going to do something and they don't do it because that's not my way. If I say I'm going to do something, I always do it, um, and that's uh, that's probably the most frustrating thing. But but uh, uh, you know, and the calls that aren't answered, and the emails that aren't answered. But that's uh, that's not my fun because uh, it takes an awful lot for me to get an email off um, off the desk because I talk to the computer and uh, then it's edited by someone else and then it gets sent. I've never done that myself. Um, it's not, uh, it's a part of uh, being dyslexic, but I, I generally find a way forward. Um, so yeah, it definitely is meeting meeting people. Um, uh, sometimes um, in, in incredibly sad circumstances, people tell me some incredibly sad stories, um, especially um, for, for example, our Ukrainian tribute was happening in Ukraine at the moment and we're meeting an awful lot of people to do with that. Um, and you know, it's, it's really very, very heartbreaking at times, um, but still, they are also very grateful for what we have done and are trying to do, um, and, um, and and that's incredibly meaningful. And uh, yeah, so so it's all round. It's um, it's about sharing the love and and and, uh, and passing on the message of um, of you know what it what it how meaningful it is to have the freedom that we have. And really, another message that I'm very much hoping to put out there is that you know is is, is collect, you know there was a, a huge amount of people that got together for. Um, you know, to, for the Normandy campaign, but also if, if the same ethos. So everyone working to work together for a better goal to make our lives and our situations better for you know everyone around us. Um, it's a, such a simple thing that everyone can do, um, and and a, a very meaningful thing that you know people are becoming more insular. Um, you know, as, uh, your mother was telling me a story about your neighbours earlier, yeah. and, and just how they held one event in there. You know. Um, um, during COVID, um, on, on, and they got to know their neighbours. You know, that's that's a wonderful thing, and it's just it's just about that, really. It's just about being part of your community, and um, and sharing the love, really.